Hi everyone, welcome to On Pen Shop. Today we will see what is PDF block template and when and how to use it. So first of all, uh, let us understand what is PDF block template. So the main use of PDF is to provide limited personalization to an end customer. Suppose you have a corporate customer from banking or any other uh, any other sector where uh, the company logo, uh, some uh, text fields and the designing portion will remain same. But the name, designation and other fields will be, would be variable fields which customer can change based on their profile. So uh, when you have this kind of requirement, you can use PDF block template. So now uh, these are the things uh, which are required before crea creating any PDF block file. Like first of all, you need to install the Adobe Acrobat Pro version 8 or higher in your system. And post that, you need to install the plugin to create blocks. Uh, so you can install plugin from on-print shop admin panel as well. Like uh, you will have the uh, template and PDF block template help option. So here uh, we have given you the link for authorized store. Like once you click on this link, it will redirect you to the PDF lib authorized store. So from here you can install the plugin based on your operating system. And once you uh, install the plugin, system will allow you to, to have this PDF lib blocks menu. This menu is uh, required to create blocks. Like now, uh, suppose you have all the designing file in uh, PST or any other format. So first, you need to convert uh, those designing file in editable PDF and need to collect all the fonts which has been used in that uh, particular PDF. So now, uh, let us understand how you can uh, create blocks on editable PDF file using Adobe Acrobat. So uh, this is the uh, sample design file, which is editable file. So here uh, this company logo, this text and designing uh, part uh, will uh, remain static every time. But we want to provide a variable, this name, designation and other fields as a variable field where customer can uh, place their uh, details based on their profile. So uh, here we need to create block for each field for each variable field. So now let us start creating block for a name first. So here uh, for creating any blocks, first we need to enable uh, this three option. Like first one is to create block and second one so that we can have this tool option. And third one, so this system can detect the default font and font style, which uh, which are used in this uh, particular PDF. So now let me create block for name. Like this. So here you will cre you can create five type of blocks like text line, text flow, image, graphics, and PDF. Like suppose for adding name, uh, we can um, provide text line, but for adding address, we can uh, have the text flow, and uh, for a profile picture, we can use image or PDF based on our requirement. As of now, for adding name, I am selecting text line, and the block name uh, should be name. And uh, this is the list of different properties. Uh, you can explore these properties and play with it as it is a very long list. Uh, but uh, let me explain the frequently used properties like font name, font, st font style and color. This uh, system will detect automatically but you can change these uh, properties based on your requirement. And the another critical property is default text like let me add default text like I'm adding this name value John Doe 
as a default text. So whatever a default text I will add here, the default text would be displayed here like this. And now customer can uh, change and customer can change these values based on their uh, profile. So I have created a block for name. The same you need to do for remaining variable fields as well. Here, if the phones are already available in system, it will uh, show you the preview. Else, you need to upload the font. Like here, uh, this font is not available. So, I need to upload this font. Once I upload it, it will show me the preview. And we have used one um, image block for adding employee image. Uh, so system will ask us to upload employee.jpg. Like here uh, we have set the employee name default image as employee.jpg. So it will ask us to ask us to upload a file. So let us upload the employee.jpg file. This one. So that's it. Now let us uh, save and back. So now let us see how your end customer will be able to make a limited personalization on given uh, PDF template file. So here now let me make changes in uh, variable fills. Officer Manager. And once I click on Update Preview, it will fetch all the uh, values in a template. Like this. Now let us uh, download the PDF preview. Like this is the original PDF file. And now let us uh, see the file which the system has generated. Let us open this file in Adobe Acrobat. So this one is original file and this uh, file system has generated proof file. So now let us see the both resolution. Here you can see this, uh, this both files are almost the same. So that's it. Uh, this is how you can uh, provide limited personalization to your end customer uh, using PDF block templates. Thanks for watching this videos and let us know if you have any queries while creating blogs. We would be more than happy to assist you. Thank you. Bye-bye.